Beautiful people. We're talking play styles, tiers. Gonna give you that FC goodness. These are my early opinions after playing the game for 14 hours. But we do have the full title. Shout out to EA. We are gonna place every play style and explain what these actually mean. Plenty of you, I'm sure are lost, confused, have questions. Use the comments. I got you covered. Let's get this party started. Off rip, broken, rank one, foot champs, debatable in the pine. You never wanna be in the pine. In this case, it just wouldn't matter. Acrobat, player who tends to perform acrobatic passes, clearances, shots. It's not gonna change the way you play. It's not a negative. I'm gonna say debatable. It's not something you're gonna look for. It's not mandatory. It's not a must have. Aerial, player known for having high success rate, aerial battles. Sometimes you get a different jumping animation. Aerial, I'm starting off in foot champs. Anticipate, look at this little foxy situation. Player known for them high success rates. Improved chances of standing tackle success and grants the ability to stop the ball directly at their feet when performing a standing tackle so you're overtaking possession that's important i think this is going to be underrated i'm also putting this in foot champs it's going to go under the radar but i'm telling you overtaking possession and keeping the ball crucial block a player who's known for performing elastic and overreaching blocks the ai is going to take care of this for you could be my first hot take but i don't think it's that important because ea is already going to supply plenty of assistance i kind of want to put it in the pine but debatable feels like the proper place moving on bruiser we're out here flexing greater strength when you're going in for those tackles body separation think that virgil van dyke that kula bali a little more emphasis i can see this being prominent in some scenarios and also way too aggressive in some key circumstances and for that reason we're going into the foot champs bar throw no sir straight to the pine Hello, a little shield action. Brand spanking new cross claimer. Goalkeepers try to intercept a cross if they can get to it slightly before the opponent. Specifically to this play style, it talks about set pieces, which again, lowers the importance of the priority if it doesn't deal with the run of play. Are you going to pick different goalkeepers because of cross claimer? No. Correction, upon further investigation, this actually is the chip shot. And then this is the long throw for goalkeepers. They're both gonna be in the pine, the chip shot has a little more relevance, but at the end of the day, any attacking players, the chip shot play style, it's an added bonus, but it's far from a requirement. It's not shifting their value on the market or my priority in purchase power. Dead ball specialist. Self-explanatory, but a player that's well known for set pieces in those conversions. This is hard because I love a deep free kick or even from short range, but how many of those are you actually scoring? We go short in so many different scenarios. And for that reason, the David Beckham play style is going to the pine. Oh, is he gonna go short? <gasps> oh, back to the goalkeepers. Far reach. Players are more effective at saving shots from outside the box with increased reach and jumping. And for that reason, I'm going to give it the foot champs as my initial takeaway. I'm seeing a theme with the goalkeepers here. We've got rush out. Goalkeeper specific, increased speed while running. You can cut those angles a little bit quicker. Two thumbs up. I'm actually going to put this into foot champs and I'm going to make the previous trait with the reach, I'm moving it to debatable. First touch, reduced error when trapping the ball is able to transition dribbling faster with greater control. Definite value. Not the best of the ball control, but definite value. Even more so if you're whipping in those hot to handle type of extra emphasis passes under pressure. Apparently I'm guarding off rank one and broken. We haven't got there yet. A little sparkle, sparkle, flare. Fancy passes, shots, different animations. Even when you're using certain skills, they're just a little bit cleaner, a little crispier. It's undeniable. The animations are better. Player always makes a player better. Significantly better in some cases. And for that reason, we're going straight to the broken category. I look for it. I care about it. It's high on my list of must-haves, especially in that attacking final third. Footwork, goalkeepers using their feet. We are familiar with this trait that's now a play style. And it has made all the difference in some of the previous iterations. I feel comfortable prioritizing this to rank one. And it might be a spoiler, even though we've already talked about quite a few play styles for goalkeepers, but surely that's the most important. Incisive pass, could be mid, could have more room for debate. Player who is known 
for making high speed ground passes. Passes travel faster along the ground without impacting the trapping difficulty for the receiver. This play style could easily be in foot champs, but for now I'm putting it in debatable. Back to defending, intercept, perhaps my most excited, increases the reach and improved chances of retaining possession of the ball when performing interceptions. I need this. Give me them extra percentages, please and thank you. For that reason, I might be a little crazy, shaking it up, but intercept is going to broken. I want that in my defenders. It's just the way that I play, how I see the game, the right stick switching. Uh. Similar storyline, jockey, increase max speed of sprint jockey and improve transition speed from jockey to sprint. This is all I do. I never touch the contain button. We are jockeying everywhere on the pitch. We're sprint jockey, resurface, re-angle. Jockey is joining intercept. Yes, please. Long ball pass. If we're talking about switch to the pitch, I don't necessarily believe this matters dramatically. For that reason, I'm going debatable, but it could move. Long throw, it's been there. It's not new. Absolute pine. I don't even know if I've used long throw every year that I played the game previously. Speaking of time and place. Pinged pass, player who's known for making defense splitting passes, having additional accuracy, slotting that space, taking that straight to rank one. Could even have upper movement depending on how overpowered. Next up, power header, player that is known to strike with additional oomph on the headers. I don't whip in tons of crosses, but I told you crossing works this year. I'll give a friendly debatable. Finesse shot, always been a staple, at least from outside the box this year. I'm not really scoring them or converting them at this current point. That could shift, but we love a finesse. Normally I would have this in broken, but for the current game, rank one. Press proven, a player who is known for keeping ball possession under physical pressure from an opponent. This sounds good on paper, but I'm not that excited. For that reason, we're going debatable. Quick reflexes, talking goalkeeper, of course. Maybe, maybe not. You can't measure quick reflexes one-to-one. -one. It's always gonna be subjective, opinionated, especially a play style like this. And for that reason, I'm putting it on the pine. Quick step player who is known to have a quick burst of speed when accelerating and off the ball. It's going to be an in-demand play style, especially when combined with other dribbling or key physical play styles. Slide tackle, self-explanatory. Slide tackle. Now, this isn't going to shift if your timing is bad. And I don't slide tackle that frequently. That's a last resort. And for that reason, we're going to the pine. Got the battery, the refresher. Relentless reduces fatigue loss during play and increases fatigue recovery during halftime. From my experience with the game, players get tired. It's noticeable. I'll take this option every day. I don't care if it's an attacker, a midfielder, or a defender. I want it. I want it. And for that reason, broken. I don't need tired players in my life. Last of the goalkeeper play styles, rush out. More aggressive when coming out of the box, over the top balls or long through balls. That's relevant. That's prevalent. I'm going to give that the foot champs pusher. I got to cut those angles. Upon further inspection, we got to do a switch. This is actually rapid, which is going to go into broken. Slide tackle, of course, into the pine. Let me define rapid, but I think you have an idea. A player who is known to use speed and knock the ball ahead of their opponent to beat them whilst dribbling. Everybody's going to want that. Why wouldn't you? Even more so if it's a play style plus. Zigzag. Technical, reach at a higher speed when performing controlled sprint, performs wide turns while dribbling, more precision. Technical is also going to go into broken. And again, if you could combine multiple play styles from broken and rank one, maybe even a little taste or a touch, a little sprinkle of foot champs, dangerous players. Tiki Taka, this is the way that I like to play the game. I don't think it's gonna be as important as other passing play styles, but it's easy on the eyes. In general, short passing, if you're dealing with higher rated players, should be accurate. For that reason, I'm going to give it foot champs, but it might even be debatable. You see the jester hat, trickster. You've probably heard about this because it deals with additional skill activation. Two major takeaways, especially at a playstyle plus, you get exclusive skills and your player is going to feel better. Kind of what I talked about with Flair. If you're looking for some of the touches, the dribbling, the explosiveness, and then the skill move execution, it's just crispier. And for someone like yours truly, straight to the top. I need that in my life. Travella, I've already been scoring these. In some ways, they look similar to last year. Outside of the boot, that animation, whether it's finishing inside or outside the box, even some of the passing, I've already noticed the difference. We're finishing on a high here. You want this in your life. It's going to change the way that the player performs. Even more so if you're dealing with someone who has a bad weak foot, this becomes an absolute requirement to use that player in order to mitigate some of the weaknesses. Last but not least, you see the wave action. Whipped pass, especially with your fullbacks or your wingers. 
crosses more accurate they travel faster more curvature you understand the trajectory i've already told you that crossing as it stands is on the up and up it's making a return it's overpowered it's got a certain level of nature not nurture you will concede a bunch of goals if you do not defend crosses well. If you're highly reliant on the wings, this might even be higher than rank one for you. Got it at rank one. 34 play styles. Those are my tiers. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Happy to go back and forth. There's definitely room for interpretation. It's early on. I wanted to give you my hot take or cold takes, lukewarm takes. And as always, I have a lot more content coming out ASAP, ASAP.